Sports betting degenerates, welcome back to the Bush Your Bookie Show. Today is Tuesday, October 1st, and we're going over my four plays in Major League Baseball. It is time for the playoffs. I've got four plays for you guys, and if this is your first time here, welcome to the show. What we do here, we give you our expert predictions along with the opportunity for a $40 giveaway. That's right, we're the only show out there that does it like this. If you would like to qualify for the giveaway, all that you need to do, number one, Subscribe to the channel. You have to be a subscriber. Number two, comment below. Four and O. Oh, give us the good vibes that we need, that we love. And then number three, like the video. You do all that. I go four and O. Oh, I'll cash up somebody 40 bucks. All right, four plays to go over, and three of them are at plus money plays. Let's bang out. Let's dive into it. Uh, there's four games I've got to play on every single game. Let's start from the top. We're talking about the Detroit Tigers, 86 and 76, taking on the Houston Astros, 88 and 73. This game is at 1.30 Central Time on ABC. This first play is a parlay, so stay tuned, stay locked in, and make sure that you guys get this in. All right, the pitching matchup here, you've got Tariq Skubal. The lefty is taking on Frambeer Valdez. On the year, Skubal has had a very, very good year. One of the better ones out there in the majors, 18-4 and four record, which is tied for first. 2.39 ERA, 228 strikeouts, which is first, and a .92 whip, which is second best. This guy has had an incredible year, and it is the first play we're going to talk about. We're talking about his total outs here, 17.5. We are taking the over. This is pretty juicy. That's why we will uh, put it together with another leg in this one. Now, he's over this in 25 out of 31 games this season and 10 out of 15 on the road. Especially against this matchup, he's 2-for-2 two two versus Houston, getting 19 outs in both of his matchups. Now, while Houston is a tough matchup as they rank top 10 in almost all offensive categories versus left-hand pitching, Houston, though, is ranked 30th, which is dead last when it comes to their pitches per plate appearance. This is a team that's not very patient at the plate. This should really help with our over in this situation. Scuba is arguably, if not the best pitcher in the game. He's got a 10.7 strikeout over nine ratio, which is in the 92nd percentile. 1.6 walk over nine ratio, which is in the 92nd percentile. 2.70 expected ERA, 94th percentile. Opponents are only hitting 210 against him. So I love this. We've talked about uh, how good Scooble has been all year. He's two for two against Houston in this matchup already this season. And I think we can kind of bet on Houston being aggressive at the plate, uh, swinging at some pitches earlier in the count in general. And as long as they're not, you know, hitting it into some gaps and hitting him early on, I think his pitch count will stay low and it will allow him to go over the 17 and a half outs. All right, like I said, that'll be the first leg of the parlay. And we are going to combine this now with a money line play. We're going to stay on this game. Typically, I take the favorites on the money line, but that's not going to be the case here. I'm going to roll with Detroit on the money line, plus 130 for Detroit to win. You take these two together, plus 175 is what I'm getting this as a same game parlay. To me, this really comes down to Scooble. All right, we're betting on him to go deeper into the game. Valdez is pitching on the other end. He's certainly a good pitcher, don't get me wrong. But I think Detroit is fired up. You know, it's been a long time since they've been in the playoffs. I think they're going to steal one here on the road. And I think it's going to start with a very good start from Scooble. So we're going to take Detroit on the money line combined with Scooble over 17 and a half outs as our first play of the day. All right, play number two, game number two. We're looking at the Kansas City Royals, 86 and 76 on the year. Take it on the Baltimore Orioles, 91 and 71. And as far as the pitching matchup here, you've got Cole Reagans on the year, 11 and 9, 3.14 ERA, 223 strikeouts, 1.14 whip. He's going to be taking on Corbin Burns for the Orioles, 15 and 9 record, 2.92. ERA 181 strikeouts and a 1.10 whip, which is 15th best. And what we are doing with this play, we are going to take a spread. We're going to take the Orioles minus 1.5 to win this game. 
I got this locked in at plus 135. You guys should still be able to get it at plus money. I doubt it would shift that much in general. Now, the uh, money line here is minus 155 for Baltimore. It's too juicy, in my opinion. I do think the Orioles are going to win this one uh, by at least two runs. We are taking them on the spread here. The Orioles won their final three games by four-plus runs, and they got a day off and are playing game one here at home. Looking at the Royals in September, they were not very good. 30th in average OBP and runs. Literally the worst offensive team in baseball for an entire month. And they're going against Corbin Burns, who has a career 2.83 playoff ERA. Reagans, on the other hand, uh, you know, this Orioles team faced Reagans, and they scored seven against him last time and hit 324 with a 425 OBP all-time against him. So I love the situation for the Orioles. They've been playing well. The Royals, on the other hand, have not been playing well at all in September. We get the Orioles at home with one of their top guys pitching against a pitcher that they've already hit pretty hard in a previous matchup. I love it at plus money. Give us the Orioles minus 1.5 as our second play. All right, play number three now. We're looking at the third game on the slate. The New York Mets, 89-73, and taking on the Milwaukee Brewers, who are 93-69. and ESPN, 430 Central Time. And what we're doing here, we're looking at Luis Severino. On the year, Sever Severino, 11-7 and record, 3.91 ERA, 161 strikeouts, 1.24 whip. And for this bad boy, we are looking at his outs. 16 and a half. We are taking the under. I got this at minus 125. Now it is playoff time. And in general, you're not going to see pitchers go as deep because, hey, every single game matters. Last season, only five out of 16 starting pitchers got at least 17 outs in the wild card round. Seve starts the game here for the Mets, going against a Brewers team that sees the most pitches per plate appearance in Major League Baseball and have a top five walk rate versus right-handed pitching. They are going to make Severino pitch a lot of pitches. They're going to make him go deeper into counts, and obviously this will hurt his ability to go deeper into the game. Also, the Mets' bullpen should be pretty much everybody should be available. Only Brazabon and Diaz uh, I do not expect to really be available, but the rest of the guys are well-rested, and I think that they will go to them at any time of any kind of issues, any kind of problems that they see out of Severino. I love it. We're going to take Severino under 16 and a half outs. I think he's going to get banged up here pretty early. Any sign of trouble, they're going to take him out of the game. Give us Severino under 16 and a half outs as our third play. And our fourth and final play now, we're looking at the last game of the night. The Atlanta Braves, 89-73, and 73, taking on the Padres, 93-69. and 79. 7.30 Central Time on ESPN. Now, there's only one pitcher that is shown for this game, and that is for the Padres. And that is going to be a big factor into our play on this one. You've got Michael King starting for the Padres. Definitely a solid pitcher. 13-9 record, 2.95 ERA, which is ninth best, 201 strikeouts, and a 1.19 whip, which is tied for 29th best. It is undetermined who is pitching for the Braves, and that's why we're going to take the Padres on the spread here. Minus 1.5 is what we are taking with the Padres. I got this at plus money. Uh, it should be right around plus 135. Um, hopefully, you guys can still get that in. Now, Big thing, like I said, we don't know who's pitching. Chris Sell is not pitching. That is definitely worth noting here. They just had to play a doubleheader, and now they have to travel all the way from Atlanta to San Diego to play in a very, very important game here. And the Braves' bullpen is in bad shape. In the doubleheader, the Braves had to use two high-leverage relievers in both games. The Padres, meanwhile, spent the weekend resting their bullpen. As we said, the Braves don't know who they're starting. They've talked about either Ian Anderson, A.J. smith Shaver, or Bryce Elder. So these are all guys that I think the Padres can hit pretty well against. The Padres have a definite advantage when it comes to the pitching matchup. I don't care who they're going against. And I think the uh, bats of the Padres are going to be really solid here as well. They're at home. should be going against a tired uh, 
you know, just kind of worn out Atlanta team as they're having to travel. I love it, especially at plus money. Give us the Padres at minus one and a half as our fourth and final play. All right, here's a recap on all four plays. The first one, like I said, is a parlay. Scooble over 17 and a half outs combined with the Tigers money line. We're taking the Orioles minus one and a half. We're taking Severino under 16 and a half total outs. And then our fourth play, the Padres minus one and a half for our four plays for today. That's going to wrap it up. Just a reminder, if you'd like to qualify for the $40 giveaway, all that you need to do, number one, subscribe to the channel. Number two, comment below. Four and oh, give us the good vibes, baby. And then number three, like the video. You do all that, we sweep. I'll cash up somebody 40 bucks. Our motto on the show is to bust your bookie. Let's go for the four and oh sweep on the first day of the Major League Baseball playoffs.